Hi, I'm Jeremy, one of the authors of Machine Learning Refined, a university textbook about machine learning foundations, algorithms, and applications. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of code you can play with. You can download this code from our website, which I'm showing you here, at mlrefined.com. You can also find a variety of sample chapters from the book on this website, as well as video tutorials on a range of machine learning topics. The code I'm going to show you today illustrates how the algorithm gradient descent works, which is one of the most popularly used numerical optimization schemes in practice. This is described in much detail in chapter 2 of the textbook, which I'm showing you right here, and you can download this chapter for free from the book website. The code I'm going to show you is essentially an interactive version of figure 2.7 here from the textbook, which you can find in section 2.2.3, which describes gradient descent in all its glory details. Okay. How gradient descent works is we start at an initial point on a function g of w here. Okay. We call that initial point w0. We take a linear approximation given by the first order Taylor series to that function. We travel downwards on that linear approximation to this little point here that's drawn with a red x. This gives us our first step, w1. We then make it a linear approximation to the function g at w1 drawn here travel downward to this little x word on that linear approximation to give us w2, take another linear approximation, travel downward on that, and repeat until we reach a stationary point, g of w. Okay, let's look at some code. I'm going to show you wrappers written in Python, but you can find equivalent wrappers written in MATLAB on the book website. Okay. The first one's called non-convex grad surrogate. When I hit run here, up will pop a generic non-convex function, like the one shown in figure 2.7, g of w here. Anywhere I click along this function, I'm going to initialize gradient descent, and with the first three to five iterations, we're going to show you the linear approximations at each step and how far along each you travel. So if we initialize here at w0, we'd show you the linear approximation here, shown in purple, travel downward to that black dot, hop back onto the function at green, another linear approximation, travel downward to the black dot, hop backwards up to the function, Again, and one more time. The remaining steps are given to you very quickly. Now, gradient descent typically runs much faster than this in practice. Now, we've slowed down the first couple of steps just to kind of give you an intuitive sense of what's going on there. It ends when the color of the point uh, becomes red. So now, if I start that, if I run that again, Only this time we started at a different initial point, we'll, we will reach a different stationary point of the function. So say I begin around here. So this is w0. Make a linear approximation, travel downward, hop back onto the function, repeat. Take a linear approximation, travel downward to that black point, hop back onto the function. And you see I'm traveling towards a different local minimum here. And I'll converge to a different one okay, because I initialized at uh, a point that was was very different than the first one. Right? So there's the second minimum found when I initialize here. Now you can play around with the step length alpha by just going into the main function here and messing around with this value here. It's preset, okay, but you can mess around with it, make it larger, make it smaller, just to kind of play around and see what happens. With the second demo, we illustrate the exact same concept, only using a generic convex function. This is called convex, gra convex grad surrogate. When I press run here, up will pop a generic convex function, g of w. Once again, wherever I click, I'm going to initialize gradient descent. Okay? And again, we're going to show you the linear approximations at each step and how far along each you travel. So let's initialize here. Make a linear approximation, shown in purple, travel downward to that black point, then hop back onto the function. Take a linear approximation at that point, travel downward, hop back on. Take another linear approximation, travel downward, hop back onto the function, and repeat. Once again, three to five iterations are shown along with the linear approximations rather slowly so you can kind of get an intuitive sense of what's going on. Then the rest of the points are hammered out pretty quickly. It ends once again when the color of the point is red. You can play around with the step length here by going to the main function once again. It's preset to something small, but you can try making it smaller and bigger to see the effect on gradient descent when you change the step length. 